Monroe. What's up? It's your girl Lola Monroe, and y'all already know what it is. We got a TV. We gonna be big. Lola, what up? What's good? Nah, man, got a TV. Already know. Yeah, Lola. Um, how you get your name? Like, who the first person to call you Lola? Damn, that's like it's a nickname from when I was in DC. DC. Mm -hmm. It comes from Lola Falana. Okay. But nah, people been calling me Lola since back home. You know, well, it's not like an industry name. Oh, okay, okay, that's some some street shit. Yeah, that I brought into you know what I mean. Brought into the game, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> what um? Oh look, let me tell you how far I think I remember. I remember um seeing you in the Fifty Cent video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get money. Yeah. I don't know. I it was like the record was cold, but you made the video, and I don't even think you was in it a whole lot. But I you, wasn't. Yeah, but I wasn't. I but it was it was like one of those times. It was one of like my good moments in modeling. Yeah. That was like my highest peak, and I was doing. I did a 50 Cent video, and then I did Kanye West when they had the little beef, the little back and forth at the same time. So it was it was a good mu moment in music yeah. at that time. So yeah, you were part of history. Yeah, for sure. You a legend, man. <laughs> <laughs> DC, you from DC? Yep, town DC. What part? Like, Uptown, Uptown, Northwest, Garfield Terrace. What um, what's your favorite spot to eat in DC? Man, now that I'm vegan, it's a little tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little different for me, you know what I mean? So I got to go back this time around and try some other stuff. But, yeah. um... Do, do before the meat. Before the meat, I mean, damn. We used to be at the curry outs. <laughs> <laughs> back then when I was home. Yeah. Now, like, being vegan, like, what you... Where would you go? Man, it's totally different now being vegan. In L.A., you have more options. When I went back home, I didn't realize how many seafood and steak steakhouses was in D.C. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But in L.A., it's a little different. You got more options. You got, like, Real Food Daily. You got Sun Cafe. You got Sage. It's, like, it's different now, you know? Mm hmm But, yeah. Damn, you like, Damn. Yeah, you like damn all this steak and shit. I don't even eat meat no yeah, more. So. Yeah, it gets a little, it gets a little shaky, especially when you on tour and you traveling, and you mm -hmm. vegan. It's like a little different, but you know you figure it out. Yeah, you pass through a little, little small city. You gonna what? You gonna eat some salad or something? Huh? That's all. That's it. You you real limited, but you know what? It's worth it though. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's worth it. I'm gonna tell you like this. Um. What gives me my balance is that I separate work from home. You know what I mean? So it keeps my sanity. Coming from where I come from, it's totally different. You know what I mean? It's, it's different like the industry world yeah. and the streets. You know what I mean? So I feel like what kept my sanity and what kept me balanced and what kept me, you know, still driven in this industry and still enjoying working um is my home life i got i got loaves and i got my child and i got my foundation and our world is not really mixed in with the industry you know what i mean yeah and so when i go out i'm working it's work i get it you know i do what i gotta do i move how i'm supposed to move and i get back to home you know right so it's a line, and I don't mix those two worlds too much together mentally. You know what I mean? When I got into the industry, I understood the difference. I was taught different. When you come from where I come from, you're taught different. You're taught that respect don't come from money. Respect yeah. comes from who you are. Which, what, you, do you stand by codes? You got morals? Yeah. You know what I mean? Certain laws, you just don't cross. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so... I already came from that foundation, so I knew it's a difference. There's a difference in the industry as far as by any means necessary, and there's a difference when you tap into the streets with that same mentality. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
And so with me understanding that and me getting that foundation from home, um, I'm able to balance Hollywood and this industry. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't gotta fit in. I'm good with me. You know? Who your um, who your celeb friends like? So. Um, Cassie, she's a good friend of mine. China, me and her go way back. She's from DC, so yeah, yeah. So we we knew each other before this whole, you know, this whole game I'm came like into play. Back in school days or something. You could say that she was like about seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, I was about eighteen. Um, yeah. So back then, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm good with a lot of people. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. You'd rather smoke or drink? Damn, now smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I like switch my whole shit up. Yeah, I'd rather smoke. Um, I stopped drinking as much. I decided like on New Year's of 2017. I'm like, man, I don't really want to drink no more. I really don't want. I don't like that feeling like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I drink here and there. I fuck with some tequila, but it's not really my thing no more. I'd rather smoke. You'd rather fly or drive? Damn. Fly. Closer to the sky. Clouds. Closer to the sky. Closer to the sky. Yeah, that's a good one. It's, it's a beautiful view up there. You know what I mean? Let me ask you this. It's yeah. It's going to get you. Um, would you let your son eat McDonald's? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. He ain't, he don't even know what a Happy Meal look like. Thank God. <laughs> for real. I did all that for him. He's straight now. You know what I mean? He's four years old. He's a four-year-old vegan with an intelligence of, damn, like a 30-year-old. For real. Like, real his shit. mind is so advanced because he didn't have to eat all that bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, he's good. Like, his... He love green juices and yeah. apples and strawberries and berries. That's what he snacks on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, no, I would I would never do that. I didn't even eat that shit when I was pregnant. Just so he wouldn't eat it. Right, you know what I mean? Right. So it's different. You want to give your kids, you know, better things than what you experienced. That was always important to me. You know what I mean? So, no, he ain't getting none of that. <laughs> he ain't getting he, he none ain't of that. Touching it. no fast food. No four for four. Nah. None of that. Uh-uh. So, rap. So, look. All right, look. I'm going to get off of this, but I got one more now that it came to my head. But okay. You got, um... It's cool. I like these little questions. Yeah. <laughs> you got a um a, a million-dollar contract for um a Wendy's commercial. How does that work out? Damn. That's a good question. Yeah, how that work out, man? I don't know. I would have to think about that one. <laughs> yeah, for real. I don't know because I feel like that's that's some shit that really fucked up our people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So psychologically because I know the truth, it's like I don't know. I would really have to sit down and think about that, even for a million. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't got that answer. That's I got a lot of answers. I ain't got that one. Yeah. I'm going to have to sit on that you one. think about that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Stay in it, man. Go to TV. You're going to be big, man. For real. Follow me, man. Subscribe. For real. Yeah. You gonna be big, yep. straight up. You gonna be big. Go to TV. You gonna be big, yep. straight up. And that's how. That